Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day. Just want to say thank you again for 4,000 subscribers everybody, just amazing. Can't thank you enough. Um, today we're going to get into a little bit of an updated guide on how to get ammo. And this is probably more for beginners, so yeah, just pointing that out there, you know, so this might be obvious to some people. Um, if I do miss some tips and tricks, please let us know in the comments and uh, we'd love to hear them. But let's get into it. So the perks you're going to want to be, you know, paying attention to are Ammo Smith, Super Duper, and a legendary perk, Ammo Factory, which I'm going to be showing. Um, I've heard you don't need Ammo Smith if you have Ammo Factory, but I still put on all three when I create ammo just to make sure. And of course, uh, Ammo Smith is under Agility, it goes to two, and Super Duper goes to three. Uh, ammo Smith just crafts more ammo and Super Duper has the chance to double it while you're crafting it So it'll just help you make more right. It's kind of kind of a must And like I said ammo factory, which is under legendary perks um, If you have it ranked up to level 4 you can produce hundred and fifty percent more rounds when crafting am ammunition So that's a lot. That's like doubled and then a little bit um, another thing too is the ammo converter. Um, it's not the greatest thing in the world. It's in the uh, Atom Shop right now, so I kind of wanted to mention it, but it's just not really the greatest. I, I, I kind of use it for flame refuel every once in a while, but I've been using the daily ops actually, which I'm going to get into as well. But if you just have a lot of extra ammo that you're not selling or want to get rid of, it is a good way to just put it into the ammo converter here and get points and then maybe buy the ammo that you do want. Um, like I said, it's uh, it's not really the greatest for ammo. Um, it's you know if you're earlier on, maybe you can take advantage of it. But like I said, I wouldn't really recommend it too much. It's good for flavor ammo. With 10,000 points, you can get uh, 2,000 flame refuel. I think it is here, which isn't too bad. You know, especially if you're just throwing in ammo in here that you're not using. Yeah, 10,000 points for 2,000 fuel, and you can get the points fairly easily too if you're just. Uh, giving away the ammo or putting the ammo in there that you don't use um, another thing too is the armco container or sorry armco ammo uh, crafting machine I'm not sure what it's called it's 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 armco ammo and something like that but anyway you can get it at crater for gold bullion and it produces whatever you want uh, every hour it doesn't really give you a lot but it does give you ammo I just want to throw that in there too not really the most amazing thing for ammo now, when you are crafting ammo, of course, there's some components that you need. I'm not going to probably cover everything for energy ammo, to be honest, because I don't know enough about it to talk about it, in my opinion, for making energy ammo. But I do know for a lot of the ballistic ammo, you do need steel. So if you didn't know, the best place to probably come for that is West Tech. Again, you know, Mr. West Tech, <laughs> here I am talking about West Tech. But it is absolutely great for getting steel. And you're going to want to have the scrapper perk on too under intelligence. And you can get more than enough steel to make all the ammo you want. Um, I just ran through this little area quick for the video. And I think I get about... Um, what is it? Two to three hundred steel here. But yeah, um, I was just wondering too. I thought I showed to put on the uh, the scrapper perk. I know I told you, but I wanted to show you a visual of it. But just so you know, it's under um, intelligence and it does give you a lot more um, components from scrapping, which is what you want. Yeah, two hundred and ten steel. That literally took me like not even two minutes to get. So if you're gonna be needing steel, come to West Tech and just keep you know running through it. Another component you're going to need is acid and a good place to go for this is the Tanagra town out here on the map that I'm showing you. Um, it just involves climbing this tree which kind of sucks <laughs> but yeah um, it's definitely good you know once you learn how to climb it. Um, if you aren't maybe the first couple times you might want to use a power armor because if you do fall you will die um, until you get good at it at least but you can get about 60 acid up here and you can you know travel fast travel away from this area um, leave the server and then go to another one and then uh, they will most likely be back here. Not a lot of people are coming up here for this anymore. Um, I'm not really sure the best way to get acid if there's a new way. These are the old ways that I used to do it. Um, but yeah, I, I seem to have more than enough materials to make ammo at this point. So ju I'm just saying I haven't done this in a bit. There could be a better way to get acid. I'm going to show a another way as well. But um, once you do get up to the top of the tree here, what I'm getting to is that there are a ton of crickets up here and they will give you a lot of acid. I think I got up to about 60 acid here. 
and if you didn't know, you're going to need acid to break down the lead ore, which I'm going to get into as well, um, which you're going to be finding at Lucky Hole Mine. Um, now, the, you can get some lead cans at a couple places too, like White Springs, and um, they will give you lead, but not as much as what I'm about to show you. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get into that after I show another place where you can get acid. But for getting acid, um, definitely the Tanagra Tree. Um, I want to point out too some events like Moonshine Jamboree and Campfire Tales give you a ton of acid as well. Especially Moonshine Jamboree. You can get anywhere from like 50 to 100 acid. Um, maybe even more from Moonshine Jamboree. I think I've gotten up to two, 300 acid from that event if I'm not mistaken. But just from these crickets alone, I think you can see I got about 60 waste acid. Yeah, 61. And then if you're wanting even more, another good place to go to is Hemlock Holes. You just have to come over here, take the workshop, and then you can get three uh, generators going that will produce acid. Um, I think it's 10 every half an hour, if I'm not mistaken. It could be 10 every hour. I'm not sure, but it does add up if you, you know, just come over here and take the workshop like I'm showing. Another cool little trick, if you didn't know, is you can claim a workshop at the workshop area without going over to the red workbench just wanted to show that so but anyway here's these three asset piles and you're just going to want to get a power generator to run all of these um, i usually use the fusion generator if you don't have that available you might have to put down a couple small ones to meet the power needs but these are the three spots that you're going to want to be taking advantage of and like i said about 30 asset combined with them um, over every half an hour and yeah, I'm just going to get into it here uh, quickly, show you how to uh, build this stuff as well. <laughs> that sap tree is actually pretty cool. 15 adhesive every half an hour or so. But anyway, I put the, the generator up here. You'll have to see I have to turn it around in a second so you can get all three generators at once. Um, this way you won't have to put in any conduit. You'll be able to reach all three of them. So just a little tip I wanted to throw out there. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, just going to be putting these, what are they called? Extractors on top. That's the word I was looking for. And once you got all three of these extractors on top, they should just be in your build menu. I don't think you have to learn a plan for these. And if you're like level 50, you're, you're more than likely have it. But uh, you can see I had to turn the generator around to get all these to work at once. And, you know, this isn't bad. I used to do this back in the day, man, and I had more 50 cows and 5 millimeters than I knew what to do with it. I'm sure you can do the same with 5.56s five, and 45s. But, yeah, just another good way to get acid. And the cat's going to come say, hi, hi, big guy, how you doing? Big suck, he's like, it's food time. <laughs> he won't let, let leave you alone. Anyway, so that that's the best ways to get acid, I think. Especially with those events are probably even better than the tree and um, hemlock. But anyway, to get lead, we're going to get into now is uh, the best way to do that is to get an excavator, like I'm showing here, and it, you can get it very early on in the game. There's a quest that'll give you all the pieces for it, and it'll give you the plans on how to make more. But the reason you want this is because it does increased mining yield when left and right arms are used in tandem, and that just means that you have them both equipped. So just come to the spot I'm showing you on the map, Lucky Hole Mine, with your excavator. Don't do this without the excavator. Trust me, you get, you're losing out on so much lead if you do this. And this is where you're going to spawn. Um, keep in mind you're going to have to kill some cultists. Um, if you're a low level, they may give you a problem, but they more than likely won't if you've been playing this game for, you know, a week or so. But uh, this is where you're going to come into, and then once you're in here, you're going to be looking for these um, little ore or lead vein areas. And then you click on them until the black disappears. You can see it disappeared there. Now, if it doesn't disappear, you can collect more. Um, I'm going to link a video in the description as well that goes into this a little bit more in depth. Shows you all the locations of the lead ore and even some more tips on ammo. It's just a little bit of an older video. I wanted to make an updated one, but that other video will cover this part and maybe some other things that I may have missed. Another great thing for ammo is the daily ops and highly recommend it be uplink and not melee attack like it was for us today. Um, fortunate I had my friend with me to help me so he got the melee kills because you can't get the ammo you want 
with a melee weapon, right? Unless you're bashing them with it like I did here. But anyway, you can still get lots of ammo from the daily ops. Um, but uplink preferably. And um, you just kill the enemies, man. And you'll get tons of ammo. Try not to use too much. Um, I went into the uh, daily ops as I showed at the beginning there with 100 ammo each for my um, plasma caster and my... Uh, flamethrower and I came out with over 600 ammo each so you can easily get another 500 ammo each from doing the daily ops and we didn't even try to milk it like we could have kept going longer and probably got it up to a thousand each no problem and uh, yeah I would just suggest to it's more or less for weapons that don't fire very fast because then you're probably going to end up losing ammo but anyway I hope this helps some of you get some more ammo and as always thank you so much for watching